If you're asked to figure out which one of these atoms here, K or Mg, that's potassium or magnesium, has a larger atomic radius, here's how you do it. So we have the periodic table here, and we've condensed it. We've taken out the transition metals here. They follow the same trends, though. So let's find potassium and then magnesium. Right here is potassium in group 1. In group 2, we have magnesium. So you can see the trend for atomic size on the periodic table. As you go down, a group gets bigger. Then as you go across a period here, it gets smaller. So really, cesium right here, that's the largest one on the periodic table. It has the largest atomic radius. For potassium and magnesium, so we're going down a group. Potassium's lower, so we would expect it to be larger than magnesium. And then for magnesium, we're further along in the period, so they decrease across the period. Magnesium should be smaller. So in answer to our question, the atom with the larger atomic radius, that is going to be potassium K. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.